Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and we are starting new series. I'm excited for this new series. We're going to focus on something near and dear to my heart. My first love before yoga has always been herbalism. It was herbalism, it's still herbalism. I just love plant medicines. So we incorporate the healing powers of <sighs> contemplating a plant into a class and bringing that energy into the class. Today we're going to do oregano. So we are going to cover all the herbs and their energetics, their spiritual meaning and their physical attributes and just get our minds off of the current situation, off of the stressors and retract. Listen to the voice of the soul, the voice of our inner being, our inner truth relax, calm down, because the most important thing in building our immunity is staying calm. And the other very important thing is that energy attracts energy. So if we feel stressed out or fearful of something, we're far more likely to attract it. And if we stay in a place of peaceful calmness, we're far more likely to manifest that into our life. And we all want to manifest on a grand level on, in the collective conscious a peaceful world, not a world of fear. Right now, we're facing that situation, so we all have to do the work within ourselves and it will translate, it will spread into the world. All right, so are you ready for a new month of amazing classes? It will all be on my website, full schedules with all the classes, and I'll be coming on here on Sundays to share some classes with you. We all need right now really powerful healing and yet effective home workouts and I'm ready to deliver just that. We're going to focus on healing the soul, the mind, the emotions, the heart and staying fit, staying strong, staying physical so that the mind doesn't wander because yoga is a great healer and my home workouts that are yoga and functional movement and fluid movement and conscious movement are just that. They will snap you back into the body. You can really, really feel and create awareness through movement so that we can all stay peaceful, calm and release tension, heal, heal the mind and heal the body through movement and mindfulness and meditation. So let's begin and remember to flow with strength and ease. front of the mat roll the shoulders back and down and here you can say hi to my oregano bunch that I brought from Bulgaria and I'm diffusing oregano oil in the air so that I can get myself into the vibe of oregano I think it's my top one herb that I use most and adore most so if I had a herbalism name it would be probably oregano <laughs> beginning to deepen the breath and trust, developing trust in mother nature that she's here to serve us, to heal us, to guide us. We're taken care of. In the cradle of the earth. Nice big breath, inhaling through the heart and exhaling through the heart. A few more, really filling the lungs with fresh air. Gratitude for the air that we're able to breathe, for the sunshine that comes into our life. For the love that we're able to experience. Oregano is a very strong antiviral, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. It's used as a preventative in uh, many fields. And one of the most interesting things, oregano flower essence. So the flower essence that captures the ephemeral energy of the plant is used to release, to surrender to higher power. And I think we all need to 
Let go now and surrender because we are in the hands of love. Inhale your hands over the head. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, look ahead. One more time, inhale, look ahead. And one last time, inhale, look ahead. And then plank. Press the heels away from you. And inner thighs working towards each other. Pull the belly in and let's bring the right knee in and kick it across. Press the back, the leg behind you and again. Two, three, four, five. Step it through. Bring the right arm up, left hand down. Open and lengthen. Reach ahead of you. Exhale down. Step it back. Left leg. Knee in, kick across and back. Knee in, two, three, four, and five. Step it through. Take the left arm up, open, the chest opens. Reach ahead of you. Exhale down, step it back. Right leg comes up, one, and kick to the right, two, kick to the right, three, kick, four, kick, five, kick, step it through, twist, take the right arm up, this time come all the way up, walk the right hand down the left leg, look up, reach up. And windmill the hands down, step it back, left side. Kick up one, two, three, four, and five. Step it through. Take the left arm up, come up, glide it down, reach. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, windmill the hands down, plank. Breathe. And take the right leg up. Bring the right knee to the outside of the right elbow and to the inside and back. Two, three, four. So you're tapping the out and the five is the hardest one. Step it through, open, come up, glide the right hand down the left leg, look up, high hands in prayer. And twist lunge with prayer. And release. Plank. Left leg comes up. Let's touch it to the outer elbow, inner elbow, back. Two, three, four, Five, step it through, twist, come up, reach, hands in prayer, and lower down. This is building immunity, all these twists, core work, and release. Chaturanga, upward dog, and down dog. Mm -hmm. 
drawing the navel in. Inhale the right leg up and open the knee. Step it behind in well thing. Side plank. And we're going to bring the elbow to the inside of the knee and to the outside of the knee and back. Two double tap three four five grab your knee with your hand and step your foot at the front and twist right arm up come up twist and look up and let's exhale and bring the left arm down right arm up here and release plank chaturanga up dog down dog drawing the navel in inhale the left leg up step it behind while thin Side plank, double tap inner outer knee, one, two, three, four, and five. Grab your knee, step your foot to the front, twist, come up with a twist, reaching up and exhale take the right hand down on the outside of the left knee open here great exhale down plank chaturanga up dog down dog Breathe. Releasing through the breath, suspending tension and resistance inviting flow and surrender sometimes things are bigger than us and we surrender to the wisdom that is enveloping us that is beyond and above and all around us We surrender to the mystical element. Inhale the right leg up and shift your weight onto the left hand. See if you can pull off a balancing back bend here, right hand to the right ankle and open. Steady your gaze, as that's a big portion of your balance, and breath. Steady your breath. And just breathe confidence into your body. 
Ülis. Opposite side. Focus your, focus your gaze. Steady it and then work your way deeper into the posture. The position of the hand down on the floor is very important. Spreading the fingers open, having a nice steady grounding. The hands become the roots in down dog. Bring the right knee into your nose. One, and extend. Two, extend. Three, extend. Four, extend. Five, and now bring the right knee to your left. And take a wow thing here. And... Step the right foot to the front, drop the back heel down, warrior one. Breathing with confidence. All these standing postures build a strong system, strong constitution. They embody the, the power that's within us. <clears throat> Exhale your hands behind you, interlacing the fingers and open. Look up. Lower down, humble warrior. Exhale the hands on the floor. And we're going to squeeze the right knee to the nose in plank, in plank. And now stay in plank. Then knees to nose one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten step it down vinyasa what is the immunity in the body it is your defense system spiritually in a sense, it's outside of you. It is the mind, it is the thoughts, the thought process, what we attract with our thoughts, the frequencies we tap into, very important to start the day with a thought that has a really high vibration, high frequency, to connect to love or God, whatever you want to call it, it is just a stream of consciousness, eternal consciousness. It's, it's just how most would understand it. It is an eternal consciousness to connect you as a part of this consciousness. Let's take the left leg up. Knee to nose, in down dog, one. Two, three, four, five, and cross the left foot across while thing. And step it through. Warrior one. This is a very strong defense pose, but defense should come from inner strength rather than an aggressive force. Even from surrender, even from elevating the frequencies, the thoughts. And that's what the oregano flower symbolizes. It grows only in the very high mountain areas, 
doesn't grow in gardens, mountain oregano. So it is very unique. It would not grow in lowlands, in gardens. It is wild and cultivated. <sighs> Grows in the Mediterranean, in the mountains. So imagine the power of that stream of consciousness. <laughs> Exhale the hands behind you. It's just a fighter. It's probably Aries energy. Open. And lower down, humble warrior. And hands on the ground. Knee to nose. Ten times. Plank, knee to nose. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vinyasa. Inhale the right leg up. And let's open the hip and press the leg up five times. One, two, three, four, five. Drop it behind while thing. Side plank. Elbow to the other elbow. So right elbow squeezing towards the left. It's difficult. So keep your hips up. Don't sag here. The whole point is to find your core because immunity comes from a strong, the core of your system has to be strong, so to speak. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Woo, ten. Step it through. Drop the back heel down. Warrior two. A nice deep warrior. Reverse the warrior. Side angle. Bring the right shoulder underneath the right knee and take an arm balance. And vinyasa. Let's take the left leg up, open the hip and press it. One, two, three, four, five. And step it down, well thing. Side plank, elbow to elbow, one. Keep your hips really lifted, strong core, envision a strong core. Two, everything starts with a vision. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. Warrior two. Immunity. Or Strong constitution comes from 
strong roots in the ground, connected to the cosmos, really connection with creating connection, which is there tapping into that connection, opening up ourselves to that connection, to the cosmic forces, and sitting strongly in our core, strongly feeling the core of the soul, the core of the belief system, and the physical core. And no matter what religion or belief system you have, we can all agree that there is one thing that is in the fabric of reality. And maybe I should say most of all of, of us would agree. There is the fabric of reality is woven with eternal consciousness or love, if you feel that, if you feel love, which is all around us a stronger power than any other power, than any other force. Reverse it. Side angle. And bring the hand underneath and take an arm balance and step it back. Vinyas. And come on to all fours. Let's bring the left hand underneath the right shoulder, back of the shoulder on the ground, stretching the back of the shoulder. These are times for us to really deepen our connection to, to nature and to the eternal consciousness and to love, all of, all of which is a similar thing, the same thing. Opposite side. You can go to a wall for a headstand, clasp your fingers, bring the pinkies on the ground, head on the floor, walk your feet in and press your elbows down and go into a form of a head, headstand or half headstand or one leg headstand, pressing the elbows down. And lower down, downward dog. Let's take the right knee in and go into a both knees are bent, so this is in between tabletop and, and uh, wild thing. And then seamlessly step it back and opposite side. So we're introducing fluid movement and staying in motion. One last. And down dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Side angle. Shift into half moon. Bend the right knee, step it back, triangle pose. Now 
release down chaturanga up dog down dog let's take the left leg up step it through warrior two side angle shift into half moon let's bend the right knee step back for triangle guide your hand onto your shin bone triangle pose you can reach ahead of you too for some extra stretch through the obliques feel the integrity of the core here keeping you together holding you in one place and here we're going to bring the hands between the legs on the floor forward fold side lunge change sides back to center now side lunge push your right hip back and we're going to we're going to take the right hand to the hip and up and change sides push back should we do it one more time change change feel the twist coming from the surrender feeling of letting go of the core from the strength of the core so with the strength of the core fluidity comes in we don't experience stiffness when we're stronger that is not strength with more strength more flexibility comes one cannot exist without the other it's not true strength if it makes us stiff so keep that in mind whenever you're strengthening somehow in our society there was the wrong idea that they're somehow disconnected flexibility and strength great so here you can bring the hands down on the floor we're going to bend the knees one at a time shift side to side figure eights to bring a move from my old school classes the very old classes from seven years ago figure eight eternity and forward fold let's take plie and come up and we're gonna pulse in plie one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Forty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Heel up, heel up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. <coughs> Twist one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. <coughs> now tapping the leg off. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ninety the last one either add a hop 
or just go for it with a lot of squeezing of the muscle but one two three four five six seven eight nine hundred and since we're calling on our inner ballet woman men we're going to step onto the left leg and lift one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty opposite side one two three really lift four five six seven ten open chest two three four five six seven eight nine twenty time for vacuums stomach vacuums we're working on the core on our really core system this is where everything is generated and the hold of our belief core system is immunity actually science has been recently discovering that the microbiome is responsible for the majority i want to say two-thirds but you can post in the comments below the exact studies of the immunity in the body so it's a really important the microbiome is a formative factor in our immunity so working on the core on a different level on the spiritual and physical and conscious bringing the awareness to it level body mind awareness it becomes it strengthens us on so many more layers than we realize it and before the vacuum breathe normally for a moment and i will just show you the color of this i've been drinking in the color of this plant it's it's very purple very very it's uh it's amethyst so i hope you're ready now and we're going to bring the hands onto the knees and draw the navel in hollow the belly as you exhale one more one last stepping into our plie I did this in the time class so we're gonna do it again in order to strengthen the immunity flush the emotions flush the mind of unnecessary just unnecessary toxic stuff parasitic thoughts we're going to do fire of breath so I'll explain it again so if I'm repetitive excuse me but we're going to bring the hands in front of us and then quickly bring them with force back which helps us exhale a little more rapidly it's called breath of fire for a reason so it's done fast and you speed it up as much as you can and by the last rep which you try to extend the, the breathing as long as you can and by the time you're ready to stop you lock your breath out for a moment so you create vacuum emptiness <laughs> and that's the end so we're first going to <laughs> and then get to the end because i'll be doing it with you so i'm explaining it now and um uh, it can create a little bit of dizziness if you've never done it so keep that in mind you can sit down and do it if it's new to you you can just sit down on in easy pose and give it a go but give it a go it's fabulous
second time. Take a breath. Think about oregano. Mm, so beautiful growth in those virgin beautiful mountains. Imagine if you do this and flush the respiratory system and even the stomach. Often powerful. Round three. And let's lower the knees down. In a froggy stretch, just touching up here for breath and coming up. So this pose is also for the lungs. Lungs is grief. So a lot of us are sad and grieving in this time for the earth and for humanity. So it's good to work on the lungs, on the immunity, on the strength, on the connection to the divine. And pigeon pose on the right side. You can give your scalp a bit of massage while you're here. Loving touch, loving fingers. Massaging the scalp, relaxing the muscles, releasing tension, because remember the flower essence of oregano is releasing, surrendering to higher power, which gives you inner strength, actually. It's interesting when you surrender, how much stronger you become. So strength comes from releasing the desire to be forceful. The opposite of strength on the spectrum is not weakness, it's force. Because it's ultimately the weakness is forcefulness. We had beautiful rain last night. So everything is cleansed and rinsed. Let's come up and look over the right shoulder, twisting. You can bring your left foot in. And let's go over to the other side. A few circles with the right knee. Pigeon. Keep the ribcage lifted, the spine elongated, the hips square, level. When you think of alignment, think of inner alignment. Think of feeling the body ra rather than thinking alignment. This is, after all, your body alignment should. After a certain level amount of practice, it should start coming from within. If we don't learn that, we really don't know. We haven't learned anything about yoga. and. That doesn't mean get discouraged. No, keep going until alignment comes from within. We can't expect experts to tell us how to align. The alignment is within you. And once you have certain level of body intelligence, you feel the alignment. Even if sometimes it's a little misaligned according to the books, alignment is a very strong feeling from within. It's a very definitive thing, very definitive. In my body, alignment is a very definitive thing. It's sometimes by the book and sometimes not, but it's a strong, 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 undeniably strong feeling. And 
and you can bring your knuckles and glide them over the just above the eyebrows and just gliding them out massaging massaging the forehead and the eyebrows and then knuckles on the temples massaging here massaging the temples uh, feels very very good I'm sure we all need it. <laughs> mm. It's to release the tension and the thinking. And so press along the hairline with your fingertips, press and then move and press, move and press, move and press. Press into the hair and press with the fingers. Hold the press release, hold release, hold release, hold release, hold release. Hold release. Great, glide the fingers through the hair and then massage the back of the neck upward with strong firm touch. So the fingers are pretty strong here. It's not painful, but it is not just tender. It's firm. Bringing circulation into the scalp and then with the knuckles over the nose where the sinuses are and on kind of the beginning here right at the corner of the eye the knuckle in that corner here there's a little just uh, it's an acupuncture point it's a little indentation bring your finger there and just press firm gently firmly <laughs> press there Press on the, again here, on the outside of the nostrils. Usually the acupoints have a little bit of a tenderness to them. So you can find that. Good. Let's bring the knee in, look over the left shoulder, a few circles with the left knee. Soles of the feet together, let's sit down. Extending the right leg, left foot bending into the inner thigh, forward fold. Changing sides. So this all has brought us to think about the blessings we have and how we have been cruising kind of in a subpar wavelength as a society. We have been indulging in just too much rest of the spiritual body as a whole, not pr probably not the yoga community, but as a whole. The yoga community is often people that are searching deep within and coming up. <sighs> Tabletop. So here I want you to transition from tabletop to to wheel. Take your right arm up and then bring it behind you and then find your way into a wheel. Lower down, plow. Shoulder stents. Knees over the ears. Here, for difference, we're gonna rock, rock out of it. Hands behind the knees and just rock out. 
forward fold. Twist, heels on the ground. For those of you that are new to my channel, heels on the ground. This is a full spinal twist adjustment, self adjustment of sorts, hands behind you. And we're gonna bring the hands over to the left and the right hip would come off the floor. The feet can point to the side, but the heels stay on the floor. Forehead and you feel the whole spinal twist and release. Opposite side. Lower down. And we're going to bring the left knee in and then the right knee in. And lift the legs. Pull the belly in, reach forward, reach one arm up, and then the other. Squeeze the belly in, one, two, one, two. Press the hands together, scissor the legs, bring the hands on the outside of the left knee, and change, 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 change. Now open the arms, continue with a few more scissor moves and give yourself a hug. Happy baby. Let's bring in some happiness, some joy, some lightness in the body. It's serious in the sense that spiritual work begins, but spiritual work can also be joyous. We are in a state of human consciousness, collective conscious, when work is needed and the light is needed. Soles of the feet together, lay down, hands over your belly as we worked on the core. And since courage, courage and strength, and surrender, it is an Aries quality. We're going to massage once again the skull, which is ruled by Aries, the mind, the head. So massage nicely, firm movement over the skin and glide it a little bit, glide the skin a little bit. So don't, don't just move through, but grab the skin and push it. Grab the skin and push it. Grab the skin and push it. Push, push. That increases circulation, relaxes the skull. Hands over the head clasping. Legs extending, move your legs to your right. Cross your right leg over the left. And we're going to arc here like a crescent moon. your hips and shoulders down opposite side and lay down smile smile feeling smiling feeling the heart with love and remembering that that eternal consciousness that we call love or God it is love and the mantra here is God is love eternal consciousness is love it's in each and every smallest fragment of what we call reality and into the ephemer ephemeral layers of existence in the finer layers everything is enveloped by and it is love so the mantra here this is a very powerful mystical teaching mantra it's coming from mystical teachings I am sure it's part of most religions is here we're gonna lay in silence and repeat it in our head. God is love.
if you want to call it the divine is love or eternal consciousness is love you can alter it to the way it speaks to you um, but if we have no attachment to to God as far as how it's been presented in different layers of society, religion and controversial things, if we just tap into the essence of that eternal consciousness, the words will be a little less loaded. They are powerful though, words are powerful. So repeat your mantra for a brief amount of time. to move the fingers keep your eyes somewhat closed or closed or either halfway shut roll onto your side with that mantra running through your body just imagine the mantra continuing as an echoing effect so the mind continues with the mantra but on on a little more subconscious level or on a little more internal level and we're going to bring our hands on the ground and come onto all fours and take your toes under and come into down dog and we're going to step the right foot through bring the back knee down and reach up into a crescent lunge and lower down still the eyes are somewhat close so you can have an internal experience of this down dog opposite side left side reaching up and breathing with it and feeling that mantra in your body in your psyche it's not just a mental mantra it's a physical mantra we bring it into the body we bring it into the heart into the emotions deeply understanding the meaning of things rather than just the surface a few more keep moving with the mantra last one and you can sit onto your heels or in any comfortable way, inhale your hands over the head, exhale them over the third eye for connecting to truth. Over the throat for expressing the truth, for being the truth, for bringing the truth into the world with your speech, with your mind, with your writing, with your art, with your creations, with your communications and over the heart sealing the benefits of the practice today and let's bow to our heart for their compassion forgiveness and love because we are love all right blink your eyes open namaste thank you all for joining me today and stay uplifted stay calm stay peaceful and be the light be the light in the world the light that the world needs spread it let it be this contagious viral light or love that spreads and it multiplies because each torch of light illuminates around itself a circle or a sphere around itself so each and every one of us is now called to be the light and i'm sure everybody in our community is here because we consciously and strongly realize it now now it's more important than ever all right thank you all for joining me and i'll see you very soon i will be here next sunday and the on my website i will be posting the schedules on saturday every saturday or every sunday morning about saturday night sunday morning that's about when they go out and therefore monday so 
I'll see you in both places. Stay safe, stay healthy, and namaste.